in today's video we are going to see about scheme management like how can you run uh, if you have a scheme business like if you run 10 plus 1 11 plus 1 scheme for your customers so that thing you can how you can manage through the software so this will be seeing in this video so let's get started so here you can see i have opened the software so this is the login page of the software you will be provided with a unique login id and password by which you can enter into the software so here i have entered my login id and password so i'll just click on login now as i click on login my software will get open here so i have successfully logged in into my software now so here you can see so this is the whole dashboard of the software so log this is from basic to advanced each and every panel you will get it here okay so in this video we'll be going to see about scheme management only so what what features will be covered from the software will that will come under scheme management so only those panel will be looking forward so let's get started so firstly uh, we'll start with the firm panel so if i come on to my firm panel so what will be my work here from here yeah i need to register my firm and company details so whatever your shop name or company details will be there to enter it similarly i already have created a firm here named radha krishna jewels so i have entered all the details regarding radha krishna jewels here i have also mentioned my address and all even I have uploaded some bank details also. If you want to upload some logos and all from here, that also you can do it. Once you create your form, what you need to do is you can select your a particular form from upper side. So whatever things you uh, start working on, so that will all those entries will start to get recording into this particular form. So next we'll go to the second option that is settings. In settings option, what will be uh, my work here? From here I can say set my daily gold and silver rates. Similarly, if I want to do some by default settings, let's say uh, here is an option given for layout. In layout section, if I do want to do some by default settings, like it might be page settings or any other setting that I can do it from a settings panel also. So now I'll going back to my home page. So what will be my work here? If you, uh, this will be your main home page, so this will uh, this page will always be open in front of you. So from home page, like if you want to add any new customer or search your older customer, that you can do it from a home page itself. For example, let's say I want to search any of my older customer from here. If I enter the older customer's name, so automatically in customer list here you can see my older customer's name gets filtered down. Okay, so in similar ways, if you want to search an older customer by their mobile number, father's name, last name, also that also you can do it. So let's move towards the scheme panel now. Here you can see there is a scheme panel. Now, if I go on to my scheme panel, so this is my whole scheme panel. So whatever scheme I need to add for that uh, for any particular customer, or if I want to set any scheme previously only, all those settings I can do it from my scheme panel only. Okay, so firstly what I will do is let's say I want to add a new scheme for my business. I want to add a new scheme into my software. So what I'll do here is an option given for you is that is scheme settings. If I go on to my scheme settings option, if you want to set any by default scheme from previous only that entry you can do it from a scheme section. Let's say uh, here you can see uh, the below side here you can see oh, I have already set some scheme schemes. I have already made some scheme plan for my customer. So in this way you can set a scheme plan. Now let's say I want to add a new scheme plan so here you can set how many months of scheme plan you are having. let's say i'm going to start 11 months of scheme plan so i'll enter here to 11 months so what is your scheme name if you want to uh, set any scheme name here that also you can do it let's say it's my gold scheme okay i'm so uh, enter the scheme name as gold scheme now how you want to run your scheme as in cash in gold in silver that also you can select it from here if you want to uh, mention any specific group like uh, there is if there is any specific user group that also a uh, group name you can enter it here okay let's say how next option you is given of number of users like how many number of users should avail this scheme means if you want a specific number of user group that also you can do let's say i want to apply this scheme for only 50 users so i'm setting it here uh, the number of user as 50 next how many number of emi will be there in my scheme let's say my number of emi will be 11 next what will be your emi amount i want to set my emi amount as thousand rupees let's say okay on that what bonus amount you want to need you want to gift give it to your customer that you can set it from here. let's say i want to give five five hundred rupees of bonus amount so i am setting 500 here Next here is a start and an end token number. Start token number and end token number is given here. If I enter one year automatically it will pick his 50 token number. So this token number you can apply 
it to your customers as well. After token number here, you can see EMI option is given, and above in front of that only you will get an option of discount. Let's say, miss, um, this option is for what? Like for example, let's say on second EMI you want to provide five percent of discount. So automatically for each and every customer I apply the scheme automatically on second number of EMI that five uh, percent of discount will get applied. So in this way you can set your scheme. Now what I will do is I will just add the scheme here. So as I click on Add Scheme, see here you can see my scheme has been added into the scheme list. So if you want to make any update in the scheme, there is an update option given. If you click on Update, or uh, you can, uh, if you want to make any changes in the scheme amount or anything here, that also you can do it and just click on Update. So you can also make changes in once you have created the scheme. So this in this way you can add your scheme into the system. Now let's say I want to add this scheme to any of my particular customer. So what I will do is I will go on to my User List section now. So in user list section, what you will get is here you will get your each and every customer's list. Let's say for example, in this any of my customer wants uh, wants to add a scheme. So what I will do is I will go into my particular customer. So in this customer list, there is an option given for uh, scheme. So what I will do here is add new scheme. Okay, if I click on add new scheme, your scheme panel will get open here. So what you want to do is you will just need to click a space bar on the scheme name. So whatever scheme you have added previously, automatically those scheme name will get displayed down. So which scheme you want to apply to this particular customer, you can select that scheme name. So automatically here you can see all the information regarding that scheme, all the uh, EMI amount, the bonus amount gets automatically filled here. So if you want to make any changes here also, that also you can do it. Here is also option given for gift item. Like if you want to provide any kind of gift item to this customer, that also you can provide. Similarly, if you come here. There is a staff selection option is given. If that, uh, if any kind, any staff is adding the scheme for this customer, so the the staff can select the name from here as well. Here also, if you want to set any SMS template, so that also you can do it. And here is an option given: send EMI pay message. If you tick on this, so automatically each and every month SMS will be sent to the customer regarding EMI pay. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just come down and click on submit. So tot completely my scheme gets added to this particular customer. As you add your scheme, immediately you will get a PDF here. So you are you will get an invoice that uh, this this scheme has been added on this this day. So this kind of receipt also you can provide it to your customers also. Similarly, if you want to maintain passbook of the customer, here you can see passbook option is given. So this will be the front front page of the passbook. So if you want to maintain passbook of each and every customers, that also you can do it from. Okay. So next, let's say for example, he is paying me first month of EMI amount to me now. So here is you here you can see all the EMI has been divided into eleven months, and here you can see the twelve month has been added as a bonus month also here. Okay. For example, let's say he is paying me first month of EMI. So here you can enter the deposit amount, how many amount he is depositing. Next, you can select the paid date also on which date he is paying me the amount. Next, uh, here is a collector's name. If any kind of staff is collecting, if any staff is collecting the amount, that the particular staff can select the names from here also. And what you need to do is in status here, you can see. If I click on status, there are two options given: by cash or payment mode. Like if that customer is paying me this EMI amount by cash in the cash. Cash in hand mode, so you can select by cash here. If if he is paying by other payment mode, let's say by online by bank transfer, you can select payment mode here. So let's say I am taking in cash in hand, so I'll just select to select by cash here. As I select by cash, so automatically my first month amount will get uh, collected. So I have collected the first month amount here. You can see status has turned green. So as you collect the amount, immediately will get a three types of receipts here. First will be like if you want to provide a receipt format, a cheque print format to your customer, you can also provide that. Second will be your invoice print. If you want to provide a receipt in invoice format, that also you can do it. Similarly, third will be a passbook print. If you want to maintain the passbook of the customer, so that also you can print it on your passbook as well. Okay. Similarly, if you come down, so here you can see the total amount I have deposited is now is thousand rupees. And when the customer pays the whole to eleven months amount, automatically the bonus amount will get added, added, and this will year will be your final amount. In history, here you can see in history also they are showing this this is amount has been uh, deposited on this this day. Okay. So in this way, you can take uh, the amount. You can maintain the scheme of any uh, kind of particular customer. Uh, here you can see there are the option given close date, maturity date. So this scheme will get matured on first July 2024. Now, so here you can come down. There is an option given for payment, close scheme, and delayed scheme. 
when you will do the payment when he pays all the 11 months amount and when bonus amount will get added at that time you can do the payment here next is close scheme option is given if that customer wants to close the scheme in between only so you can uh, select close scheme option but in that case if the customer closes the scheme in between in that case bonus amount will not get added and if you want to delete this entry you can select on delete scheme Okay, so this was all about scheme. If you want to check a particular customer scheme reports, here are, uh, there is an option given for all scheme reports where you can check all customer, this particular customer scheme reports also. And if you want to check each and every customer scheme report, upper side where we star started, the scheme panel. So in this scheme panel, if you come here, you will get all scheme reports in the report format. If you want to see what all the current scheme here you can select the current scheme so this will be the current scheme reports and if you want to check the closed scheme reports you can check that separately as well and let's say all this uh, scheme report you want to uh, extract in excel pdf print format here corner side options are given copy csv excel pdf print if you one click on any of the format in that format you will get excel pdf or print generated okay so this was all your regarding scheme management so in this way you can manage scheme you can apply it to your users you can apply it to your customers and so manage their accounts regarding scheme through the software so if the video was understandable uh, please like the video and for more likely videos do subscribe to our youtube channel thank you